Uh, the city lived for fear in, for years there, folks. Among those was Mayor Bottoms, who was a little girl when all of this began. I'm just, I'm grateful to you. And I'm grateful to so many others who are continuing to keep this top of mind for us. Um, and I just appreciate your bringing attention. Now, this was a story by 11 Alive's Naima Abdullahi that put the case back on the mayor's radar. Naima listened to the call for help from Catherine Leach, whose 13-year-old son was murdered, and pushed the city to take some action. And tonight, Naima has an exclusive one-on-one -on -one with the mayor about her announcement and the mayor's personal connection to the cases. I want to know who killed Curtis. Mayor, when you first watched Miss Catherine Leach's plea, what kind of went through your head, especially you growing up in Atlanta as a child during that era? I actually was surprised at um, the pain that I felt watching her. I knew about it because I was nine years old in 1979 when the murders began. And each time I watch her speak and I've watched her story, um, it, it just, it breaks my heart. I cried with her. For a decision to be made, for the evidence to be reevaluated, what does that do for the city and what does that do for Atlanta's historic African American communities who endured that amount of pain nearly 40 years ago until now? And I hope that it says to the public that our children matter. African American children still matter. They mattered in 1979, they mattered to Mayor Maynard Jackson, and they matter to me. Did you know any of the kids, any of the victims personally? I didn't, but it was interesting as we were speaking and I was reading the names, there's so many names that I remember. I remember their pictures on the news and, you know, it, it's, uh, it is a piece of our city's history that 40 years later, it's really hard to believe to know that the family still don't have peace um, is, is quite unsettling. What crosses my mind is what they could have been and who they could have been, because that could have been any child during that time. It could have been any of us. It could have been any of us. And these were, you know, mothers and families who were doing the best they could with their children. What message do you have for any other family members who are scattered around Atlanta, what message do you have for any relative of the Atlanta child murders cases? That we care. That those children mattered. I'm grateful to you, and I just appreciate your bringing attention in and allowing people like Mrs. Leach to be able to speak and, and share their pain, because for her, she lives it every day. I wanted to mention that I just got a tweet from Dear Summer 84 who says, this is amazing, rest in peace, my cousin Chris, her cousin, one of the victims of the child Atlanta murders. Mm -hmm.